Remy guards Lyon failed to close the gap on Paris Saint-Germain at the top of the table after a frustrating 0-0 draw with Marseille. Samuel and Titi, the 19-year-old, with Lyon's best chance, saved by Mondonda. In a game of few clear chances, Marseille had the better of them. This corner led to Andre Ayew nodding just wide. Big chance for the visitors, who have started the game three points behind Lyon and aiming to go level on points with them. Remy Gard saying here, we haven't got as many points as we'd like, just two in two games. This is not the form of champions. There are still 30 points to play for, though. PSG got back to winning ways in Ligue 1, but they were made to sweat by Nancy. Ben Mukanjo latched onto a Jamal Bakar through ball to put Nancy ahead for the second time of asking. PSG weren't at their best, but they were level soon after half-time. Mistake by Pogrenier, pass by Menez, and the finish from Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who's 23rd of the season. And PSG wrapped victory up midway through the second half. A fine pass from Marco Verratti fed Ibrahimovic, who rounded the keeper to score again. 24th goal of the season for the Swede. It wasn't pretty, but PSG win 2-1 at the Parc de Prince. Nice against Montpellier on Sunday was a meeting of two form sides. Champions Montpellier sit with one six of their last eight, but they fell behind early on. Pontiac robbed Hilton before feeding Stefan Bahuken for his first career goal. And Bahuken scored again after just 24 minutes. Dutchman Luigi Bruins hit the post before a grateful Bahuken prodded home the rebound. 2 0 Nice, then out just two points off a Champions League place. San Etienne missed the chance to go third after they were held to a 2-2 draw at Rennes. And it was the hosts who went in front through Roman Dance, first goal of the season for the fullback. But San Etienne hit back straight away. Lemoine's pass found Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang who fed Johan Molo and Molo found the back of the net, his fourth goal since his arrival in January. But Rennes are made of stern stuff and took the lead again. Jonathan Petroiper found Julian Ferre and he chipped delightfully over the goalkeeper for his ninth goal of the season. San Etienne had won six of their eight games before this match and they responded once again. Molo turned provider for Obemiang, 16th goal of the season and seven in as many games for the Gabon International. 2-2 at finish, San Etienne rescue a point. Lille continued their fine form, but they had to come from behind at Valenciennes. Great pass by Izimat Mirin, great finish by the Israeli Melikson, his first of the season. Lille, the 2011 champions, have won the last four games and they responded in the second half. Ronnie Rodelam was unmarked and he headed the equaliser after 55 minutes. And eight minutes from time, Lille got their noses in front again. Another Marvin Martin corner, another headed goal, this time from Tulio De Mayo. That's his first of the season. And Rudy Garcia's men wrapped up the points. Dimitri Payet almost gave it away. And after Valenciennes failed to clear, Benoit Pedretti unleashed this pile driver for his second goal of the season. 3-1 away victory for Lille and their fifth successive win. Bordeaux ended their nightmare run of four straight defeats with a narrow victory against Bastia at the Chaban d'Almas. And Carfalo with a peach of a cross for Czech Diabate, his third of the season. The 2009 champions had failed to score in five of their last six home matches. But Diabate's goal was enough, 1-0 Bordeaux. Toulouse recorded their first win in seven games after winning at struggling Brest. One goal was all it took, and what a goal it was from Adrian Rabiot. The 17-year-old is on loan from PSG. That's his first senior goal, and he's unlikely to score many better. Toulouse had fallen out of European contention with just one win in 2013, but they stopped the rot. Brest now just two points above the drop zone. 1-0 was how it finished. Evian moved out of the relegation zone after a crushing home win over Sosho. Cedric Barbosa set them on their way with a magnificent free kick just before half-time, seventh goal of the season. Sosho are in a desperate run themselves with just one win in six, but they equalised in the second half. Giovanni Sio raced clear and put in on a plate for Cedric Bakambu, who tapped in his sixth of the season. Saber Khalifa and Kevin Berigo put Evian in command before this delightful fourth. Disguised pass from Ninkovic and Barbosa second of the game, 4-1 Evian. And they added some gloss to the scoreline with a late fifth, Khalifa with his second, 
5-1 Evian. First win in 11 games. They're out of the bottom three, while Sosho replaced them in it. Ajaccio recovered from their derby defeat to Bastia with a 1-0 victory over Lorient in Corsica. Former Wolves defender Ronald Zubar surged forward in the 75th minute to hit the winner, his first goal since his deadline day arrival. That goal enough to move Ajaccio five points clear of the bottom three. Just two wins in nine games, though, for Lorient. Troyes moved off the bottom of League One with a vital victory over fellow strugglers Reims. 17-year-old Corentin Jean couldn't believe his luck as Ron's keeper Agassa produced this howler, Jean's first Ligue 1 goal. Antoine, without a win in five games, found themselves 2-0 up. Julien Fuzurie with his second goal of the season. But Reims, who beat PSG last weekend, hit back Nicolas de Preville, finding the bottom corner. That's his first goal for the club. But Rance keeper Agassa was in charitable mood. He spilled Bahibek's corner, and the grateful recipient was Corentin Jean once again. Toir plundered another late goal and ran out 4 2 winners there off the bottom. So, confirmation of all the weekend's results PSG escaping with a comeback win over Nancy, who were unlucky at the Parc de Prince. Lyon failed to close the gap after a 0 0 draw against third place Marseille at the Stade Gelon. PSG four points clear at the top. Lyon four points further back with Marseille three points behind Lyon. Saint-Étienne currently occupy the last Europa League spot, although Nice and Lille are very close behind them. In the bottom half, Toulouse move up to 11th after their win at Brest. Ajaccio move above Corsican rivals Bastia after their victory. Whilst in the bottom five, Evian are the big movers after beating Sosho. Sosho replaced them in the bottom three. Next weekend's fixtures sees PSG travel to Saint-Étienne in the pick of the ties. That's on Sunday evening. Olympic Lyon will hope to remain in touch with PSG. They travel to Bastia, whilst Marseille hosts Ajaccio.